previously on Chicken Girls. Hello, Attaway. Hopefully, you've all read Rhyme's article. We're protesting home economics being part of the curriculum. I am boycotting this class. It is a waste of my time as a strong, independent woman. We're like a girl gang, but also a political movement. We're working on a cover story about the protest. I don't want my identity to be defined by one day being a mom. You're ready to come back to school. Everyone misses you. I'll think about it. I have a new lease on life. No more Robbie holding me back. Please stay. It just may seem a bit hypocritical if I go right back to you. Robbie over here is trying to win me back, but I told him no. I thought you submitted it. I mean, to be fair, you did leave it on the printer right next to the submission school. Group. I am now the leader of a movement I didn't even want to start. Oh, come on. You're the talk of the town. I even heard that the school board might change the curriculum. Yes, but now Miss Wessel hates me and she didn't give me a better grade. God, what's that smell? I think we found the source. Very funny. I'm actually already hot on the trailer, the stench. You got a lead? Yeah. Sounds like he's bluffing. Keep me posted. Of course you two are working together. Tim accidentally publishes my essay, and you write that disgusting article about how women belong in the kitchen. That's not what I wrote. You said that the feminist movement has gone too far and that without stay-at-home moms, the nuclear family will collapse. And I stand by that. Women don't need to stay at home, but it's not a bad thing if they do. You literally told me you agreed with me and then wrote the exact opposite. That's called getting the story. You know, I really thought you were a good guy in Miami. Clearly I was wrong. Oh, babe, I'm sorry to say this, but are you wearing three-week-old sandwich perfume? Hamilton, excuse you. I'm sorry, but that smell. Oh. Jeez, what is that? I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Do you think it's another Birdie and Spike special? I mean, they tagged the sign. Who knows what they're capable of? I told you I shouldn't have come back. Give us some time. Earth to flash. Oh, hey, Ryan. Do you even care that Kayla's gone? We're doing a long distance, and it's stressful times like these where I like to throw myself into my work. On your phone? It's for Sup. Okay, well, why don't you text Kayla and see what's up with her? You know her dad's sick? Rhyme, I'm an entrepreneur. I have responsibilities. Glad to see that playing short night is more important than your girlfriend. Way to go, Flash. Can you believe Flash? Yeah, actually, I can, because he's just being classic Flash. He doesn't even care that Kayla's gone. Yeah, well, people grieve in different ways. Okay, yeah, but with the way he's been acting, does that really look grieving to you? Well, no. No, he's all smiley and carefree. He should be sad. I know, it's weird, right? Do you know how to play short night? I do not, that is for boys. Okay, that's gender normative. Girls can play it too. Right, well, I don't, but I know Robbie used to. Oh, do you think you could teach me? Or would that be weird since you know you guys broke up? I'm sure it's fine. Why? I just feel like Flash is up to something and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it since Kayla's not here holding taps on him. <sighs> Boys suck. I'm so glad that we are single together. Yup. So, how's Ace doing? 
Um, he's good. We're working on an update for the app. Now you're going to be able to say sup in a girl's and a cat's voice. That's cool. It's kind of weird how he just left so quickly, and now Kayla. Yeah, um, Kayla and I are doing long distance, so it's all right. And Ace just dropped everything and got on a plane. <sighs> I miss our lunches at the Ace place. The Ace place? Oh, it's like our secret hideout where we used to work on SUP. I'm sure he'll be back next semester, and Kayla too. I hope so. Can you watch where you're going? Sorry, I'm a little distracted with this story. Just don't know if to solving it? I'm doing just fine, thanks. Hmm, maybe you should blame the girls. It's probably all their fault. Very funny. It could be anything or anyone. So yeah, Ezra, I gotta go help clean the school or something. Oh my god, does that smell you? Excuse me? Do you not smell that? No, I... Wait, oh my god, I smell it now. That's not me. You're off the hook, this time. So... What do you know about this mysterious smell? If I knew anything, I'd be the first to come forward. Like, no one wants this. Hey, Flash, what did you say earlier about Ace's place? Oh, it's just this hidden corner down the hall where me and Ace used to work. I thought maybe Hamilton had left a sandwich lying around. But then I heard he's really cut down on the sandwich intake. Man, I am so hungry. Ace's mom made the best BLT sandwiches. Well, I thought Quinn was just trying a new fragrance. So do you think this could be some kind of prank? No. Who would do that? I might miss the sandwiches more than I miss Ace. Where did you say that hideaway was? Oh, just take a left, take a right, then go down the stairs. Ryan, Ryan, do you have any food? I'm so hungry. Oh my God, does that smell you? Excuse me? Do you not smell that? What's your name again? Ezra, I'm new here. That's not me. You're off the hook, this time. That smell. Jeez, what is that? I feel like you would be sick. I'm actually already caught on the trailer with the stench. Sounds like he's bluffing. Very funny. Sorry. Like I said, I don't know anything. God, what's that smell? I think we found the source. What are you smiling about? The source of a mysterious stench in the hallways of Attaway High has finally been identified. Last semester, two freshman boys used a little known corner of the school to create SUP, a popular app. Unfortunately, they also ate BLT sandwiches in this room. And those sandwiches were never discarded. But how did the smell get from there to the rest of the school? It's right by the air conditioning room, so it's literally pumping stale food through all the vents. Gross. Be glad you didn't have to see it. Thanks, Rhyme. I can take it from here. Actually, this was Rhyme's scoop. Rhyme, it's your article if you want it. I would love to write it. Thanks for meeting me. No problem. Let me guess. You hated the photos and you never want to be in the other way you feel again. No, I actually love them. You're really talented. That's really nice coming from somebody that's actually talented. So it's not about the photos. What's up? Nothing. I just wanted to see you. See me? <laughs> yeah, you know, I like hang out, get to know each other. Is that okay? It's... Yeah, I think it's okay. Are 
you get heads up then next time. Oh, we're already planning a next time? I guess I just got a good feeling about this. your shoes on my brand new couch? I'm really sorry, I forgot. I've had a really crappy day. Language, Ezra, it's like I'm living in a fraternity house. Mira, money doesn't grow on trees. And that couch cost a lot of money. Do you understand? Is that her? Why? Are you going to tell on me? I'm really sorry, Elena. I'll just, I'll just go to my room. You are so disappointing. Mm. Next time on Chicken Girls. You knew I was chasing this story, and you swiped it from under me again. Are you gonna invite Drake to the Sweet Sixteen? I might be out of town that weekend. The boys, for the most part, kind of suck. Amen. Amen.